What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, Square Enix shares its plans for summer break, Spider-Man's ongoing Easter egg hunt, and the final trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters. Roll the thing! <laughs> Square Enix announced plans for this year's E3 press conference on Twitter today. A special broadcast unveiling new titles will go live on Monday, June 10th at 6 p.m. Pacific, but we have zero clue what titles will be revealed. The Square Enix show is taking the time slot that used to be held by PlayStation, which was up for grabs since Sony isn't attending E3 this year. Weird flex, but okay. The two biggest Square Enix projects to look for in the live stream, even just one or two bits of news, are the Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Avengers Project being developed with Crystal Dynamics and IDOS Montreal. Probably don't hold your breath for that one though. The longer they take, the more likely it will be available for PS5. Director Tetsuya Nomura said Final Fantasy VII was in full development at last year's E3, and the last we heard about Avengers came from job postings that suggested the game would include third-person action and shared online play. You applied and never heard back. Those postings are from September 2017, so I don't know, maybe check your spam folder. Last weekend was Passover, Easter, 420, all the major spring holidays, and a developer who worked on Insomniac's Spider-Man marked the occasion by revealing a pretty major Easter egg. In Spider-Man's open world, Jewish characters don't work on Saturdays. Programmer Elon Ruskin shared the Easter egg, which no one discovered for eight months on Twitter over the Easter weekend. He also worked in a decent pun about how the egg was passed over. Game recognized game, my man. The game's Jewish NPCs actually observe the Sabbath, or the traditional Jewish day of rest. For an NPC, resting means not spawning into the world if you're playing on a Saturday. Turns out lots of things in Spider-Man don't always exist all the time. Some places are bigger on the inside than they are on the outside, and yep, Spider-Man is just another insane thought experiment from your undergraduate philosophy class. Yesterday, Ruskin hopped back on Twitter to show how they used tricky camera work to hide areas of Spider-Man's Manhattan, which had to be unmade because of memory use. The final trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters is out today, and if you can watch it without getting weirdly emotional, please take a CAPTCHA test so we know you're not a robot. My only complaint? They left off the exclamation point from the original 1956 film, Godzilla King of the Monsters, that's totally failing to represent the hype. The latest trailer delivers more monster v monster action with amazing shots of Godzilla and Ghidorah in battle. It's so badass that it completely gets away with having Somewhere Over the Rainbow as fight music. The 35th Godzilla film is directed and co-written by Michael Doherty, who wrote for X2 and X-Men Apocalypse, and also made Trick or Treat, the horror film that's better than your favorite horror film. Godzilla King of the Monsters comes out May 31st. And that's your Daily Fix for April 23rd. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up with the news, check out some of Mortal Kombat 11's possible DLC fighters. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.